Hey everyone, my name is Brittany and today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious chicken pot pie. Um, it might be a little time consuming, I'm not going to lie, but it's totally worth it. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to see how I make it, just continue watching. We are making homemade chicken pot pie. So this is the, thing, the things you will need. I have frozen green beans and then frozen corn. Um, you could always do like a mixed vegetable, like peas and corn, green beans, you know, whatever. Um, my family just doesn't like peas, so that's why I'm opting not to do that. Plus, I already have these in the freezer. So, um, but you know, whatever vegetable you want, you can throw in. So I got frozen, like I said, I got frozen green beans and then corn, and then I have a thing of chicken stock. Um, I have this guy I got from Trader Joe's. It's got celery, onion, and carrots all chopped in it. Um, usually I like to chop it myself, but they were out of celery. I've never heard of a grocery store being out of celery. Maybe I was blind, I don't know, I couldn't find it. And I didn't want to go to more than one store, so I just got this. has everything I need. So, plus it just makes it easy. Um, you'll need chicken. This is just a rotisserie chicken I got from either Walmart or probably Costco, because Costco is super cheap for the rotisserie chicken, and they're really good. Um, so this is about mm, four cups of shredded chicken. You can also... Um, just roast a couple of chicken breasts in the oven with your seasoning you like and call it good. Um, you'll need a stick of butter. Well, not necessarily a full stick. You'll need some fresh thyme. You'll need garlic, an egg, some parsley. I prefer Italian parsley, but again, my I was at Trader Joe's and they just had the regular Philly parsley, so I just figured I'd make, make do. You can either vouch to make your own pie, cr pie crust from scratch, or um, do what I did and just buy it in the grocery store. Um, as much as I love Trader Joe's, I can tell you that their pie crust is not the greatest. I have had terrible luck with their pie crust. Um, so if you do shop at Trader Joe's and you don't want to go get a different one, just be kind of forewarned. Um, my favorite is the Pillsbury brand. Um, I've just never had issues with it. And if you know me, you know that I cannot make homemade pie dough. I don't know what it is, but I'm terrible with it. So I just opt to do the easy way and just get it pre-done for me. You'll need some half and half, some black pepper, some sea salt, some regular flour. That's just all purpose flour, I forgot. And then um, I like to add some of this 21 seasoning salute. It's by Trader Joe's. Kind of reminds me of like a Italian seasoning in a way, but not, I don't know. It's really good, I highly recommend it. And then you'll need a big pan to make the filling in. I just, I love my Dutch oven, so I just love it. So this is what I use. And then of course the pie pan. Alrighty, so first thing you wanna do is set your oven to 350 degrees and let that preheat. So over our medium high heat, I'm just gonna go ahead and melt three tablespoons of butter in my Dutch oven. And then while that melts, I'm gonna go ahead and start my prep work. So first thing I'm gonna do is mince, um, I believe it's about three tablespoons, three tablespoons, three cloves of garlic. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mince um, my thyme. And that is probably about a tablespoon. I'll have all the ingredients and everything listed down below. And then apparently I really wanted lots of parsley. Um, that's a lot of parsley. <laughs> so now that my butter has melted and my Dutch oven has had time to come up to heat, I'm gonna go ahead and add in that chopped carrot, celery, and onion that I got from Trader Joe's. 
And then I'm just gonna go ahead and season the vegetables with salt, pepper, and that 21 Salute seasoning that I showed you at the beginning. So while my vegetables continue to cook in my pan, I'm going to go ahead and take the time to spray my um, pie pan down with some cooking spray. This will make life 10 times easier when cleanup comes around. There's nothing worse than trying to clean a nasty cake dawn mess because you forgot to spray the pan. And then I had to keep this clip. This is my son David. He came up to... He told me that it was hot and had to blow down, blow on the food to cool it down, so I had to keep it. Um, fun fact about me, I actually have twins, I have boy-girl twins, and um, yes, he does have duct tape around his diaper, and that's because him and his sister will go around taking each other's diapers off and then peeing everywhere. I've done everything I can, I cannot get them to keep their diapers on, so we just do that. And then I just added a couple more tablespoons of butter, and that was because I noticed that the pan was a little dry and the vegetables weren't sauteing like I'd like. And then I just added um, the garlic that we prepped earlier, and I'm gonna stir that around. So while our vegetables can finish doing what they need to do, I'm gonna go ahead and just prep our liquid. This just makes it easier for later when that way you're not trying to like do 20,000 things at once. So I just go ahead and add my chicken broth, I mean chicken stock, and then my half and half together. Since it's all going to go in at the same time anyways, it doesn't matter if it's mixed together. So I'm just going to do that. So now I am ready to add the flour to my vegetables. So I'm just putting in a third a cup of all-purpose flour to our Dutch oven. And I'm going to stir that around and let it cook that raw flour taste out so it takes about a minute to cook it out so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that so now that I've cooked that flour for about a minute I'm gonna go ahead and add that liquid that we prepped earlier and I'm just gonna add it to the Dutch oven and I'm gonna stir it around and allow it to thicken So once the filling has thickened a bit, I'm gonna go ahead and add our shredded chicken. And I'm just gonna stir that all in and let it get warmed up and heated through. So at the same time that I add my chicken, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my frozen vegetables as well. Um, I'm adding my frozen corn and my frozen green beans. Obviously, you do not have to use the same vegetables as I'm using. You can use whatever works for your family. So this is just what I had on hand. So it's what I'm using. Um, I think I said at the beginning, my family does not like peas, which is why I didn't get like the mixture that they have in the freezer section that has like, I think it's got like peas, carrots, corn, and like green beans all mixed in. I just, this is what I had. And like I said, we don't like peas, so use what works for you i've also used um, asparagus and i've put in broccoli before and that was really good um so yeah whatever really just floats your boat so now that my chicken and my frozen vegetables have had time to kind of heat through in the sauce i'm gonna go ahead and add my herbs that i prepped earlier so i'm adding my thyme and then my um crap ton of parsley and I'm gonna mix that all through. Now I'm gonna prep our pie, like our pie shells. So I'm getting my pie dough out and I just set my pie pan on a cookie sheet with parchment paper. That way when it leaks over, it won't cook onto the cookie sheet and it'll just, again, make cleanup easier. So I'm gonna unroll my pie dough and I'm gonna set that at the bottom of my pie pan and I'm gonna press it out a little bit and just make sure it fits really nicely. So 
So now that our pie dough is all prepped, we are to the point that we are gonna add that filling that we've been working on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to our pie dough shell pie crust. What am I trying to say? I'm not really 100% sure. Your pie dough, you know what I'm talking about. So once that's been added in, I'm gonna go ahead and get the top pie crust out and I'm gonna add that on top of my pot pie. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and crimp my pie dough. So I'm gonna crimp the top layer, like the top crust and then the bottom crust together and that will just allow it to seal and not have as much leakage of the pie filling to come out. Um, you're still gonna probably have some leaking, if that makes sense, like some overflow, um, but that's totally normal. Plus on my pie, I got a little bit full. So, but that's okay. It's turned out amazing. It was really good. It's sometimes not the prettiest thing on earth, but sometimes the ugliest things are the best things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish crimping. And then I'm going to go ahead and slice some like slots, I don't know the word I'm trying to use, um, on top and basically that will allow the pie to vent and won't explode in your oven so that will be good because nobody wants to clean that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and whisk together an egg and a little bit of water and then to my egg, I didn't show it, but to my egg I added um, some pepper, just like a little bit and then some salt. and then. I'm also going to trim the pie dough, so <laughs> I'm trimming the edges, that's what I'm trying to say. So that way, um, I don't know, it just looks a little bit better. You can do it if you want, you don't have to. I just always have, that's what my mom taught me, so that's what I do. And then once that's all said and done, I'm going to go ahead and take our egg wash and I'm going to take my brush, you can buy this pastry brush and like, you know. The utility section where all you keep your kitchen utensils at the grocery store and I'm just gonna brush my top and my pie filling is starting to heat my dough so you can see that it starts to um, divot in places if that makes sense so that's okay though it's still really good it like I said it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be beautiful it's just gotta taste good and it does taste good it tastes amazing so we're just gonna do our egg wash and then we're So now I'm going to bake this guy for about 45 minutes to an hour. It really depends on your oven. Everyone's oven can be different. But basically when the pie is golden and bubbly and beautiful and delicious, well you won't know it's delicious yet, but it is, I promise, you will take it out and it will be done. So I rest mine, this is the end result, I rest mine for about 10 minutes before I cut into it and then um, I'm going to show myself serving it. But yeah, that's how you make my chicken pot pie. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, please hit the subscribe button. Like I said, this is my first video, but there will be more to come. And if you tried this recipe, I would love to hear what you think about it. So please comment below, tell me what you think, introduce yourself, say hi, hello, how are you doing? Um, so yeah, and then like I said earlier, I will have the recipe down below in the description box. So until next time, I hope everyone has a fabulous week and yeah, see you later. Bye.